Hi, happy Friday. It's Stephanie and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today is Friday Sews. Anything goes. I have a lot to share. I'm excited to share. I have been to my first sewing class, so that is going to be my first topic. Yes, we took a semi-private lesson, my son and I, and he's a brand new beginner and I'm more of an intermediate uh, student. So it was kind of an interesting mix because she was teaching us both. She had to kind of bounce back and forth. And it was more of like a getting to know you session and kind of figuring out what we're going to move forward with because we're going back again and again. and. Who knows what we're gonna learn? So he was learning the basics and I really actually enjoyed listening to her teach him because see what I could pick up. And what she started with was reading a pattern. She talked about the views, she talked about, you know, looking on the back and reading this suggested everything. She read everything and I would say the one thing, I mean, obviously read everything, right? But the one thing that was kind of something I hadn't thought a whole lot was the finished measurements. And I want to show you something kind of cool. So you know your measurements and you pick the size based on your bust, waist, and hips. So then you go to the finished garment and you say, let's see, it's going to be, let's see, we'll do a finished garment. At my size, it would be this. So I'm going to take this. <laughs> kind of avoiding telling you my number. <laughs> and there's the finished garment. So to me, that's nice it has a lot of give and i don't like my clothes really tight especially with a woven that had no no stretch or ease or give in the fabric so to me that would be good but now my granddaughter she would want it like tighter she would want her clothes more fitted she wouldn't wear loose clothes so this is going to be interesting to see how this fits her but that was kind of cool so you can hold this and get your finished measurement and see if that's the size you want and maybe move that up and down based on what you like and of course she talked about something I had already learned, which was you could have multiple sizes in the pattern that actually fit you. So the hips might be one size, the waist another, the bust another, and you would adjust those lines. So we'll probably get more into drawing out patterns and stuff in the future, but I already learned that. So that's I'm gonna wait to learn more when Jesse starts drawing out a pattern, which will be next week. But for me, I had my pattern with me that I had already drawn out. And so what we did, this dress is for my granddaughter. If you watched the last two weeks, I think I've talked about this. I'm making a dress for her graduation from college. And so it's it's done. I'm not, I haven't done the finishing. The edge of the, of the neckline is pretty much the only thing I haven't finished. I put the sleeves on so she could see them. Um, but I really just wanted to see if it fits. So I'm going to have her try it on. I tried this dress on and it turns out my granddaughter and I are almost the same size. <laughs> so I'm making this dress again while I'm waiting for her to get the dress, try on the dress, mark the dress. I'm gonna FaceTime her and show her how I want it marked and then um, she'll send it back. So while that's all happening, cause this is the test dress. So then we'll pick out fabric. I have until May. So then we'll pick out the fabric and I'll make the, the final dress that fits her. This custom fit to her. In the meantime, I'm going to make the dress again for me so I can fix the problems that I had when I made this dress. The gathering under the bust, I really had a hard time making that look even. I also had a problem with the way it went together here and the, the darts. They're not your normal darts. They're uh, The teacher called them a fish eye dart. So they go like this. And so I had trouble with that. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how we mark that on the fabric and do that my that I'm doing and make it better. Like I want to be better at it. I am naturally not a perfectionist. I am not detail analytical. I really just like going fast and I don't care if things are messed up. <laughs> so in sewing, that comes back to bite me a lot. And so I'm trying to go against my nature and learn how to do more perfecting. And I'm excited about that because, um, you know, I can keep making the same easy stuff forever or I can start working on some harder things. And that is something I really want to move forward. It, COVID really changed my sewing and made me want to do it more because I've been, you know, like a lot of people stuck at home. And now it's kind of like I'm really hooked. I've finished decorating this room and <laughs> I just want to stay in here all the time. That's pretty much what I like. So that's kind of that. And then I also have two new makes. But before I tell you about those, I want to say 
I have the best viewers on all of YouTube. Thank you so much to all of you because I learned so much. If I tell you I'm having a problem, I will get like a dozen solutions. I mean, we all know how to fix a stain now, right? <laughs> this has been twice I've talked about it and there's like all these amazing stain removal tips and you know I might have a question about a dart and suddenly I've got three ways to do a dart how to choose fabric I mean oh my gosh you guys amazing amazing and with that note I think last week I said um you know am I just lazy or does it is it okay if I want to make the same pattern over and over and so many of you just said yes make a pattern over and over and it felt like support like almost like permission but support Yes, go for it. So I thought, what do I really want to wear? <sighs> I mean, I love dressier clothes. I love dressing up, but there's just no way for that to be a part of my life right now. I have nowhere to go, no reason to get dressed up. All those clothes just sit there. But what I really want is casual, casual, casual. And I've talked about this. And one of the tops I pull for the most is the hoodie dress. That is this pattern. Now I made this in some fleece and you've seen those. If you haven't seen those, it's in one of my Friday sews. And uh, while I love the fleece, it's kind of hot. So I don't pull for it and put it on as much as I do the gray sweatshirt hoodie. That's where the stain conversation came up. And by the way, it's, it's gone and it looks great and I've been wearing it. And because of that, I wasn't afraid to try that pattern in another solid color. But that's the only lighter weight hoodie dress I have. The other three that I made were all in fleece. So I said, self. If you like that dress so much and you pull for it every time, make another one. And ta-da, I'm wearing it. Here it is. And I have to say, every time I make this, it gets easier. I made this yesterday and it took most of the day. But after that, I pulled this fabric out. You may remember from a shopping haul and I made it in an hour and a half, something like that. Cause I had just done it. So it was so easy. <laughs> and each time I make it, it gets better like I perfect a little bit more like I figure out what I'm gonna do so I want to show you this and I want to take a picture outside because that's the prettiest but it's already getting dark you can probably see out my window so I'm gonna take a picture here in the sewing room but let me just kind of show you see if I can back up enough to show you what it looks like I'm wearing boots and leggings and it's super long they have you putting the little hole for the thumb but I didn't do that it's got the pocket and a hood let me put that on you can kind of see that and one of the things that I don't like about this fabric is it's not very stretchy at all it's just sweatshirt material and you know that there's a certain amount of give but it's not much and so I can't pull my sleeves up <laughs> and I'm a big sleeve puller upper so I'm thinking about making it three quarters because that's where I would pull them up too and, I, and if that is still feels constricting because there's a more give on the bend than there is around I don't know how to explain it, but there's, it feels like there's more give going this way than this way. So I think that if I just shorten my sleeves, I'll be happy with this top, but whatever it takes to make me happy with this top, I want to be able to wear it a lot. This one I haven't worn yet, but it is more stretchy all the way around. So I'm going to put that on and model it for you because this turned out really cute. So this is the other one. I made them the exact same way. Although I don't, I think this one just feels like it's longer in the back. So you have to choose, do you want the back flap longer? I already took off about that much, so it was even longer. And I kind of would like them the same length, but I kind of like that it, uh, high low. So now I can't decide, what do you think? High low or same, same length? Um, I think I'm gonna make this one the same length because I don't like the way that looks now that I'm looking at it. But this one is more comfortable because there's a lot of more stretch in this sweatshirt material. It says, still has a pocket, still has a hood. And I, I like the sleeves long. I didn't do the pocket hole for the thumb, but I might do that. You know how they have the little pocket hole for the thumb? This called for that. But it's super cute. I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this. I just love this pattern. It's fun. It's funky. It's my kind of vibe. If I wear these like over and over, I'm going to be looking through that stash to see what else I can make this pattern out of because it is so easy. I could just make one in less time than it would take me to go shopping. <laughs> okay, now I pulled this out. I kind of wanted to tell you this, why this became another hoodie. 
why did I make another one? I just made this one and I already have the gray one. How many hoodie dresses do I need? This fabric I pulled out and I thought I want to make something out of it. I went through my air table pattern list where I have all my patterns organized on my iPhone. I think I've talked about that in a past video. I don't know which one, but if you ask me about air table, I'll tell you which one it was. And I, I just couldn't find anything that I wanted this to be. And I thought all I really want is another hoodie dress. And it kind of just spoke to me. And I was thinking about my mother-in-law. She passed two years ago, and she was quite a character. And one of the things she was is a sculptress. She sculpted out of stone, like some big whale would appear out of this rock, or, you know, a bear. I have a Madonna that's about three feet tall that's amazing and gorgeous. And it's like the, her artwork was so beautiful. And I remember talking to her about her artwork, and I asked her, when you get that stone, do you know what you're going to make out of it? And she said, no, 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 no. I let the stone tell me. And I'm like, wow, I just love that. The stone had to tell her what it was going to be. You know, she might have had some preferences of things she wanted it to be, but once you get going, you kind of find out what it was going to be. And I thought, that's what I felt about this fabric. I asked it, what do you want to be? And it wanted to be a hoodie dress. <laughs> so... God, I have a few things to do this weekend and I'm just going to be wearing these two dresses because they're so comfy and it's really chilly and they're going to be warm, nice and warm. And, um, you know, there we go. On the home front, we had snow and it was really fun. It snowed for a day, then it stopped, then it snowed again and it built up and we're on the shady side of the hill and what that means is it doesn't melt as fast here as it does on a sunny side so we now we just have a lot of icy white it's not as pretty as it was when it first snowed and it's just going to stay until it gets warm enough or rain and we've had a lot of rain which has just melted a lot of the snow but it was so beautiful and i just want to show you a quick video It was so pretty. And of course my grandkids wanted to come over and go sledding. And I'm like, well, there's not enough snow for that. You'll just be dirtying. You'll be sliding your sled on the dirt. There's not enough snow. Uh, if there was, I would say, come on over for that. And on that note, my daughter's 40th birthday is next week. And she's not my oldest. <laughs> my oldest is an old man. <laughs> I told him, shave that beard and look younger, please. But my oldest son is a deacon and he's just kind of like looking a little bit roly-poly with his gray beard and oh, how could I have a son that old? But now my daughter's turning 40. I always kept thinking she was 34, like forever. And she's not. <laughs> oh, getting off. She's moving. She's going to take a birthday trip. And it's the first time they've gone anywhere since all of COVID. And they're going to Kentucky. If you're in Kentucky, they're pretty excited. They uh, have an Airbnb and they're going to go uh, tasting whiskey or bourbon. What do you, I don't know. What do you taste in Kentucky? Anyways, it sounds really fun and I'm babysitting. So I have the kids for five days. I know. And my hubby said to me, you know, we get really exhausted when we have them for one day. <laughs> I'm going to sit them down and say, this isn't the kind of Grammy day where you just get spoiled and we watch and play with you the whole, I can't play with you for five days. I just can't. So they're going to have to have some time to just go ride their bikes or go do something. They're old enough to do that, but I'm really looking forward to it. And kind of at the same time, uh Oh, <laughs> I thought I might get sis in here and maybe work a project together in the sewing room. I think it's almost time. She's almost seven. What do you think? How young is too young to start a project? I mean, maybe I could just do the scary stuff like the sewing machine. I don't know. Have you guys taught your young grandkids or kids how to sew? That would be so fun. Today was hair day. I really would have liked to have filmed this video yesterday and taken all of today to just kind of edit it and put it together and do all my things to it. But I'm like, would I choose to do a video on the day before hair day or the day after hair day? And it's definitely after she fixes it because the last day is not the best day. It's the worst possible day for hair, you know? <laughs> So I uh, had an appointment and it takes me an hour and a half to get there because she's down in Sacramento and I'm up in the mountains and she's been my hair lady for 20 something years, maybe more than that. And I'm not changing. It's worth it to me. And I usually do other errands. It's raining today, so I didn't, but 
my alarm didn't go off. And when I woke up, I literally had to leave in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Now, I just think that's enough time to barely like fix my ice water and get dressed. And I put on makeup. I put on makeup. I didn't fix my hair, of course. Got dressed, uh, made my ice water and my morning uh, protein shake and jumped in the car. And I only left five minutes late and I made it there right on time. In fact, she made me wait five minutes, so it was perfect. But oh my gosh, it's a horrible start to the day. But this is her fixing it. And actually, we kind of fix it the same, don't we? I always say she fixes it better than I ever could. But I think that I've kind of copied her. So I really pretty much fix it the same way she does. She's kind of in charge of my hair. I told her I do get compliments on my hair. And I say, those really compliments are for you. <laughs> she loved that. <laughs> because she just does an amazing job. We're the same age, and I told her you can never retire. Never retire, ever. And she said, don't worry, I don't want to. <laughs> I did my nails for you. I thought this would match this outfit. And I I really like solid colors. So this is the color street. I've talked about it before. I do have an account, so you can click on that if you want to try it, and I will get credit, and it's on my description box. But this is a really cool, like, glittery, and it has swirls. And I'll try to do a close-up picture of it. I don't ever pick this kind of pattern, but they gave me a free one. They always have these specials. And so if you see a special, I had to buy three and I got one free and this is the free one and I wouldn't have picked it and I love it. Makes me want to do more of these fun swirly things. So anyways, that was pretty fun. Well, I guess I'll just tell you my plan is this. I'm going to cut this dress out this weekend and if there's time left over, I want to make some more of that last dress that I made. It was like a top dress over the leggings. I really liked that. But I don't want to wear it because it's a solid color and I don't feel like it flatters as much as it would if it was a pattern. I'm probably just being picky. So I want to make it in a pattern and see if it's one of my going to be one of my go-to patterns. I will definitely put the pockets in. You saw that. I think it was last week. But I want to make that again. And so I have a lot of knits. So I thought I would do a knit. And this is making me want to try more woven. So we'll see what spring and summer brings maybe some cute dresses so my plan is cut this out and make another top out of some of my stash i really want to use up my stash i feel guilty having all this stash i really want to use it up and i was looking at if you haven't seen other friday sew videos just hit the hashtag friday sews and you'll find more and i know of a few of them but i've noticed there's more even than i've seen so hit the hashtag and i will link the ones i know and if you know of some that i didn't add them to me and I'll send them send them to me and I'll put them on my list but one of them is Kristen and she has the Dahlia Society and the so is S-E-W don't you love that she has a most beautiful garden it makes me want to garden although I kill plants I murder them but she organized her fabric and showed us how she did that and she doesn't have a huge stash which is actually made me think I need to sew down my stash a little bit but I have a bunch of shelves that I'm looking across to and they're just full of notebooks and things and I really just want to clean them out and make that all my fabric storage. So a definite project for me to work on. Maybe I'll work on that when the kids are here. Um, although I might be dreaming, they just might be want my, want my total attention. Not fair. <laughs> But I do want to do some fabric organizing. So if you haven't seen Jen and Hales and Sharon and Granny and Kristen, those are some great channels for Friday Sews. And we all just share a little bit about what's going on in our life and a lot of sewing. So happy, happy, happy. Go visit. And I hope you're having a great weekend. Um, you know, every single day, spring gets closer. <laughs> That's what I'm waiting for. I really want it. But we need the rain. We need the rain. We need the rain. We need it. So I am not. I can't complain, even though I am. I hope you're having a great weekend. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching so much. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I love a thumbs up and I love a comment. Um, if you want to come find me on Facebook, I'm on there every day. I know a lot of you are on other platforms. Let me know where you are. I probably have an account. I have them everywhere. I just join everything, okay? <laughs> I love TikTok. Are you on TikTok? Another tangent, I shouldn't even go down that road. <laughs> but I've got them listed in my description. So come find me wherever you are, and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye.